In 2002, there was a meeting that took place in Des Moines. A meeting of the National Bar Association. And of course, at that meeting, the Iowa National Bar was present. Two individuals began a conversation. One was Yvette Simmons, the past president of the National Bar Association. And the other was Judge Odell McGee, who was the past president of the Iowa National Bar Association, about the origins and that the National Bar Association began in Des Moines. They soon realized the founding was not commemorated in any meaningful way. There's a small plaque in a parking lot of a church where the group used to meet in the 1920s. In an effort to create something more substantial, um, there, the brainstorming continued. But it was in 2006 that uh, Judge McGee came to the Public Art Foundation, which had been established two years earlier, and asked for its support. This is exactly the type of project which the foundation is excited about. A uh, community-based project, a project um, the foundation could provide the expertise of locating an artist in a variety of different ways, and to lend support uh, in helping logistically get a project through uh, a system, a public art process, to be able to be cited. This project recognizes the bravery and progressive vision of the NBA founders, as well as the tenacity of everyone involved in making the piece a reality. It's a celebration of this world-class public art project, which is the creation of internationally recognized artist Carrie James Marshall. Rather than go through a call for artists, in this case, the artist Kerry James Marshall was invited. We invited him because he was already one of the most celebrated artists working in the United States. His work illustrates that the American experience is unimaginable without including black history and culture. He's created a stunning body of work that is both intimate and monumental. For all those reasons, the Public Art Foundation commissioned him to create a concept design in 2006, which he did and presented, and it was a, a huge success. I'm interested in the nature of artworks, okay. what they are, what they can be, what makes one thing work better than another thing. I'm interested in that. And so when I sit down, I'm really trying to be engaged with all of those complicated uh, problems and challenges of trying to make something that's worth doing. Yeah and then something that's worth looking at. My thing is always the first question that anybody should ask about an artwork is, what is that? That means that it has excited some curiosity. What is it and why is it here? Those are the first things. And trying to answer those questions is, that gets people on their way. I mean, that's the best kind of engagement you can expect to have in, in, in a work. It's not I like, whether I like it or whether I don't like it. Those are not the interesting things that people can say about it. It's, the interesting thing is what is it and why is it, what is it and why is it the way it is and why is it where it is? That's, those are the interesting questions and they lead you to all kinds of meditations, you could say, on the nature of things. So that's, that's, for the sculptor, that's the thing, that's what I want. I want people to be curious about what it is. Because it certainly doesn't, it look, it's unfamiliar. I mean, it doesn't look like, it's, it's, right, it doesn't look like, like <laughs> much else you know that's I mean? a, yeah. around. And that's, so that's the first line. We selected Hanson Triangle because of the flow of the people, the traffic going by. It's on the Riverwalk, and there are a lot of positive aspects to it. In 2015, the Public Art Foundation committed to raising the balance of money, which would be a million dollars. And that was the focal point of the board, uh, and that was the focal point of our efforts for, for two years to raise those funds. That was accomplished, um, and as soon as that was accomplished, in the meantime, the artist was very much involved in the process of taking this concept and creating uh, a design in design development. 
So the form that generated the shape initially was the uh, talking drum. Mm -hmm. So West African drum okay. that has a kind of has a series of chords attached to the side of it that help to bring inflections to the drum head, which is a diaphragm, yeah. so that it gives these different tonal kind of registers. So it's a it's a kind of speaking device mm -hmm. on some level. So that's the basic form. And it's shaped kind of like an hourglass. You know, it's wider at the ends and it's narrow in the middle. So it's like two cones put together. So I took that and then I cut that in half down the middle. And then each one of those halves, I cut the base and the top of it at a different angle. So for the bottom part, I cut the bottom so that when you cut the bottom off, if you take 10 degrees off the bottom, it makes the cone tilt forward. So, and then I shaved off the top so that it becomes level again, but that bottom form now surges forward because of the way those angles are cut. Yeah. So yeah. that's energy right there because mm -hmm. that's visually present in the work. It looks like it's leaning forward. Yeah. It looks like it's moving. Now I got the other part that I got to stick back on the top. So what am I gonna do with that? So I'm gonna cut the top of that so that it's at a completely different angle than any of the other angles. Okay. And then I push it forward to the point where it's just at the point where if it was a little further out, it would appear to be like it would fall off the mm -hmm. edge of the thing at the bottom. So now I got all these things going at once. So all of those angles, all of those surges, all of those balances, all of those things to me, you can, you can read philosophically as a kind of embodiment of the concept of justice, which is justice is supposed to be balanced, it's supposed to be equilibrium, it's supposed to be wow. stable, okay. but stable yet moving at the same time, yet dynamic at the same time. So wow. that's really what I was trying to do with the thing. And so you try to build into work so that when people see it, even though even if they don't know what it's about, mm -hmm. they can tell you something about what it seems to be doing. The upper drum is off center atop the bottom drum, giving the sculpture a precarious tension that suggests a struggle maintains balance and equilibrium. The sculpture reminds us that the quest for equality and perfect balance is not yet achieved. This sculpture reminds us that our journey continues today. This is a defining moment in the nation's history. We gather today in spite of our own history. From 1925 to 1981, I am not proud to report that no woman was elected president of the National Bar Association. It took us 56 years to get that right when we elected Arnett Hubbard to be our first woman president. And I'm honored to stand on this stage today with the second woman elected president of our wonderful association. State Senator Arthenia Joyner served as our 42nd president. Please give her a hand for her service. We gather today in her legacy. Black people were born with their backs up against the wall. They built this country and they always were at the back. But we continue to fight and now we're demanding a piece of the action. The NBA was a place where we found mentoring. It was a place to trade our war stories. It was where we reinvigorated each other. Our mutual encounters with racism that we endured, we shared. It was a place of consolation, of understanding, a place of love. Think back through history from 1925 to here, 2018. And finally, the founders of the National Bar Association are being recognized by the people of the great state of Iowa. And now the world will see and know who founded this outstanding organization out of the throes of being denied membership in an all-white organization created an institution that speaks to the eradication of racial discrimination, hatred, bigotry, intolerance, and all that is evil as it stands for the right of us to fight for equality and justice in America. And I'm so proud to have been a participant in this program because it is truly, truly a fine work of art that will stand the test of time. And how necessary it is to keep pushing against whatever is holding you back. How hard and how necessary it is to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pioneering to ensure racial justice under the law. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I am Gertrude Dirty Rush. Thank you. This project, A Monumental Journey, is not a story that belongs to the foundation. It's a story that belongs to Iowa and very specifically uh, the African American community. Once the project is fabricated and completed, one of the final pieces of it is the dedication. And that is sort of a gesture, uh, a activity that transfers symbolically the piece from the Public Art Foundation to the community. And in every dedication, there's an attempt to engage the community in a meaningful way. Oh, America. Oh, Africa. I wish to recognize one of the most celebrated artists working in the United States, Carrie James Marshall. Carrie has earned international fame for his works of art that comment on the history of black identity. This colossal public art project called A Monumental Journey is a visual expression he created to celebrate a historic event that took place in Des Moines and honors the individuals who made it happen. But we gather today because of because of you, Carrie James Marshall, because of your vision, because of your commitment, because of your dedication, because of your God-given talent, we thank you today and we give God thanks for your leadership and your commitment and for telling our story and capturing our legacy. We gather today because of you. But this I knew, one day we would come together we would tell our stories and share our disappointments and celebrate our victories. And we would watch our stones grow. And when we looked back that day or the following year or the next decade, we could see what we had accomplished. That this collective gathering of black lawyers, once barred from the legal profession, once spurned and rejected, has finally moved that mountain. Thank you. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies let it resound loud as a rolling sea.